Hi there. Now for this next part, part C, we were given the probability of A given B was equal to 0 0.6. And now we're asked to find the probability of A intersected with B. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't had a chance to do so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. And then when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the methods and work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, in the previous parts to this question, we found the probability of A was 0 0.6 and the probability of B was 0 0.82. So we also looked at drawing a Venn diagram and we can pick up on that. Remember, in the Venn diagram, we had our two sets A and B. And if I just label them A and B, we found out that the probability of not being in A and being in B was 0.22. So that was this region here, 0.22. And we also found the probability of not being A and not being in B was 0.18, which was the region out here. Now, in order to find the probability of A intersected with B, let's say we call that region A intersected B X. So we're given this particular result here. We're given the probability of A given B is equal to 0 0.6. So we've got to be able to use that in some way. So let's just remind ourselves then that if we're given the probability of A given B, then this is a standard result, which is the probability of A and B, probability that both events occur, compared with the given event, the probability of B. All right. You can often see it anyway from when you've got Venn diagrams, this result. Probability of A happening knowing that B has occurred. So you know that everything in B has occurred. So what's the probability of A occurring? Well, A occurs if you're in the middle here. That is A intersection B. So you'll be comparing the middle with all of B, which is what we've got here. OK, so do check out that result. So it's just a question of putting our values in. We know that A given B, the probability is 0 0.6. And if we've called the probability of A in section B X, then this is going to be X, all divided by the probability of B, which is X plus 0 0.2, 2. So X plus 0 0.22 there. We've just got to solve this equation for x. So what I'm going to do is times both sides by x plus 0.22. So you're going to get 0.6 times x and 0.6 times 0.22, which is 0.132. And that's going to be equal to the x here. And then if I just subtract 0.6x from both sides, I therefore have 0.132 equals 0.4x. Divide both sides by 0.4, that gives me x. x is going to be 0.132 divided by 0.4, and that comes to 0.33. So therefore, the probability of A and B, or A intersected with B, is x, which is 0.33. OK?